Hello friends, it's Stamp Ventures with Shauna, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. Welcome to my Tuesday tutorial on Tuesday, August 2nd, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, August, uh, at around 9.02 p.m. I hope you're having a great evening. Um, I'm going to see if I can link up here with the video um, just so that I can see if there are any comments that happen to come through. Oh, yeah, there, I think I found it. All right. Yay. That's always good when, uh, things, technology kind of sort of goes your way. I'm hoping I've got enough battery here to keep us going through the video and, um, we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. Um, I'm going to be making a card tonight using some designer series paper and I've got, uh, some of the paper picked from the celebration rings of love dsp and um it's a super easy card idea um i found it online and um, i thought it was such a great a uh, great way to use the designer paper and so quick and uh you don't even have to think to make it and um, i'm gonna get your help um in putting it together tonight, helping me to pick which colors and which cardstock and that kind of thing. And you can see how it all goes together. You'll be making these uh, a whole bunches of them once you see how this works. All right. So welcome, welcome. Hi to Sue and hello, Elaine and Darlene and a few others who are hopping on. Great to see you tonight. Um, this is kind of sort of a funny, <laughs> that moment when you finish a book and you look around and realize everyone is just carrying on with their lives as though you just didn't experience emotional trauma at the hands of a paperback. Um, and uh, I think I've had this, this little funny in my stash for a while because a lot of you know how much I like to read. And last night I finished a really compelling book. Um, I basically had to stay up until just after 11 o'clock and finish reading the whole thing. And I don't think I've read a book this fast in a super long time. <laughs> it's not a paperback, it's a hardcover, but um, uh, this is a by Canadian author, um, Emily St. John Mandel, and it's her latest book called Sea of Tranquility. And um, there's a little bit of like a time travel sort of thing in it. And uh, you just have to keep reading to see what happens. Um, and I say she's a Canadian author. She lives in New York now. Uh, and apparently Barack Obama has read her book recently and he quite enjoyed it and um, had good things to say about it. So I thought that was pretty neat. But she is originally from Canada. She's from the West Coast, um, a Denman Island, in fact, um, in BC. So um, yeah, I, I just had to stay up and finish that. It was such a good book. So, but speaking of trauma, trauma <laughs> tonight originally I thought my video was going to be this technique called no line water coloring and that's where you stamp an image with say a light a light color of ink like Sahara sand or crumb cake and then you color it with watercolor brushes and that kind of thing and it looks like you've actually done all the you know the artwork yourself it doesn't really look like hmm how do I put it um, like it's just a stamped image that you've colored in but oh my goodness it was traumatic and it took me a long time to color something like this and I thought oh no no that would be too traumatic to put you through having to watch me try and and watercolor some um, something with all these designs and lines anyways so uh, if you want to look it up it's called no line watercolor, water coloring. And I know somebody else out there will have just a fantastic video on it, but it's not going to be a video I do. I just about bored myself to tears trying to, um, to color this thing. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go with something fun and pull out our designer series paper again. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll put the no line, the no fun watercoloring aside. It looks absolutely stunning when everybody else does it, but oh boy, it was, it was, it was trauma for me. Um, celebration is still on. There's one more month of it in August. I'll show you really quickly. There are hmm, two items that are completely sold out. Let's see if I can find them. The one item that is completely sold out 
is the tree lot dies. Wow, I'm sad that they're gone because they really like that little trailer. I might happen to have a couple extras on hand if you were hoping to get one of those. Uh, I can't sell it to you, but if you put in the qualifying order, I could get you get you one of those if you had your heart set on it. And the other item that is completely sold out uh, are the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. We've heard um, just recently, like on a, a special little session with leaders yesterday that the hippo dies are going to also sell out at any time during this week and now that they've said they're going to sell out it'll probably go quite quickly they were hoping they might last for one more week but um, that's really hard to say it could be any time tomorrow or the next day that they're not available so the as far as i know the stamps will still be available just not the dice but stampin up uh, knows that there's still another month of celebration so they do have Oh, what is that? 10 other items that you can choose for celebration rewards when your orders are $60 or $120. Um, and there are some great things on here. I love the foil packs of paper. Um, I will definitely be stocking up on the foil pack packs. Um, the dots and spots die actually caught my eye when the annual catalog came out. And I was thinking, yeah, I wouldn't mind having that to do the little polka dots and things. Well, now I'm going to be able to get it for free. And these Aspen tree dies, I think they're like a $49 touch in the mini catalog. So um, if you can get them for free with an order, that's a nice option too. So more celebration items available. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? We have a weather report today. I thought just about ready to get stamping, but one quick weather report here. Oops. The weather report is falling apart. Today's weather is windy. Yeah, we were blowing all over the place tonight. And so today's weather is brought to you by the Soft Seedlings stamp set. And the reason I picked this stamp set is because that wind Ah, is blowing everything into our yard and we have a tree it's called a linda tree and this last week and a half all the seeds have descended down they've descended into our pool and into the crevices of our yard and all over creation and i read up on linden trees and um, apparently about every three to four years they do like a big drop of leaves or seeds and let me tell you this this year this summer was a big drop like we were sweeping up bags and bags and sucking up with the the vacuum pool vacuum cleaner uh, like you know a great big bag of seeds from this silly linden tree it is a beautiful tree and I don't want to get rid of it but oh it was a, a lot of work so soft seedlings it's nice when you get your uh, seeds in a in a dose that's not not quite as uh, enormous and hard to deal with um, uh, as is in the backyard. This is a little bit nicer to work with. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's time to stamp. I'll get these things out of the road here. Okie doke. One. Whoops. Trying to stash things out of the way. So we've got these three pieces of designer paper. We're going to be using one of them for today's card. And besides that, you need, oh, I should say this paper is five and a quarter by four inches. And this is also five and a quarter by four inches, this white piece of cardstock. And then I've got a card base and we'll pick the color of the card base once we've decided on the um, the designer paper that I'll be working with. So I'm just gonna take a look here. Yeah, all right. Um, I've still got the comments coming through. This is important. I should probably grab a pen or a pencil so I can keep track of the numbers as they come. So, okay, I can, I can just do it on the back of my white cardstock because this will get glued down. So we've got birds, that's that one there. We've got flowers, 
and we've got well leaves and mushrooms I'll just put leaves because that's quicker to um, quicker to write in um, so I'm just going to take a poll right now for those who are watching type in birds or flowers or leaves which piece of designer series paper would you like me to use for the never fail DSP card and um, and then I'll tally it up and the one that gets the most votes is the one that I'll use for the demonstration um, to start with ah Linda yes we caught up with, yeah, great to see you tonight, Linda. Glad you could uh, join on. So Glenda's going with birds. Um, I really do like the birds a lot. I really like the houses too. I didn't think the houses would work quite as good as these patterns here. Um, Glenda's, okay, Darlene's saying birds. And Brenda is saying the leaves. And there's no right or wrong. It's just, I'm going to, this is just helping me to make a decision. It's, um, it's like choose your own stamp ventures tonight <laughs> um, to see which direction we go in. Elaine says the birds. Okay. All right. Um, so we have three for the birds, two for the leaves. And well, maybe we'll stop there. We'll go with the birds. And now yeah, we'll turn this over and I can use this for my card. So I'm still going to be able to use these ones. Um, uh, maybe after the video I can make some cards with these ones too and you can just see how um, it, how this idea works it's like a never fail card design that you can use with so much so many different kinds of designer paper okay oh I'm gonna need this again because there's one more tally that I need to take so with the birds we need a card base and it's just the standard five and a half by four and a quarter and here I've got Knight of Navy or soft suede so I need to I'm going to take one more tally here there's those who vote for navy and there's those who vote for suede and then whichever one you decide is the color that I'll use for the base and then I'll be able to get started putting it all together and you'll see how this cool design works and I should just let you know that this card idea I got it from uh, a demonstrator in the United States her name is Karen Titan and when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's like a formula. It's like, and she showed it with, I don't know, 10 different kinds of um, designer paper that, um, okay, this is going fast. One, two, three for navy, four for navy, <laughs> and one for soft suede, and then one for navy again. She showed it with a whole bunch of different kinds of designer paper. Um, I'm just, you know, giving you the choice of these three rings of love because I, I really like this paper and the watercolor look from it, of it. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm going to try and make some more cards using this pattern uh, and some of the other DSPs that we have. Okay, so we're set to go. Navy was the, the, the choice, but this will get used. I think it would go really well, like goes really well with the suede colored leaves um, even there's some suede in there too in the flowers so okay I'm gonna take my time here take a deep breath so that I don't make a mistake when I do this so basically this style of card needs these three basic pieces these two are as I said before five and a quarter by four and then this is the basic card base of the eight and a half by five and a half and what you do is you grab your paper trimmer and you cut off a one inch strip from the side of the card base. So I'm going to slide that in, find my one inch, and we're going to need both of these pieces, the base and this strip. So hang on to that. And then I'm also going to do the exact same thing with this designer series paper. I'm going to take off one inch on one edge. And I don't think it really matters which edge as long as it's about one inch, close, close to one inch. And we're going to need both of these pieces too. All right. So next thing is we're going to take and glue this piece to the front of the card. Hmm. 
doesn't look like I did a very good job of, uh, I don't know, is it my scoring? Something seems off with this. Or did I do, <laughs> let's just double check. This should be, this should be three inches and this should be, wait a uh, three. Yeah, I took too much off of my, my piece of, uh, maybe I didn't start with the right size to begin with. That could have been what happened here. One inch for, oh yeah, my, my, my Knight of Navy pieces are just a little bit off. I grabbed one from my, uh, from my package, one that I'd cut and scored before. And I think my, my, uh, my measurements were just slightly off. It was probably from something else that, okay, let's try this again. Okay, we're just, so it's five and a half, by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we're going to take off one inch. So that should leave me with three and a quarter here. That should leave me with three and a quarter here. And, oh yeah, that fits on way better. Yeah, don't know what happened with that first piece. Something kind of went, got a little messed up there. Okay, so now we've got these two pieces layering much better. So, okay, here we go. Need to get my glue holder out. That does help to keep it running down to the bottom better. And grab this one in there. Get that glue all ready to go. Oh, so much better. Yeah, it fits, it layers on the front of the card just nicely when you measure, right? <laughs> okay, and then this second piece, you're gonna take and flip it over and glue it to the edge of the white, just like that. So you're getting to see both sides of the paper. That's another thing that makes me happy about this card design. There we go. And now this piece that got cut off the one inch, we're going to take and fold it in half. Just like that. And I guess you could score it too, which would make it fold nicer, but um, that's okay. Um, I'm just going to go just like that. And it's going to get glued on right here to the edge of the white piece. And then it's going to get glued on to the base like that, just, just like that. So you're going to see the two pieces of the designer paper and there's going to be like this little arm. I feel like my arm, yeah, I probably should have scored it and you know, made it a little bit more straight at the, on the edge there, but I'm going to try and glue it. So this, the back of this is centered on my in my white insert card insert there we go centered something like that and there'll be it's like an arm for a free moving flap um, i think in karen's instructions she said you could even like tear it or cut it so you just had a little piece to glue under i'm just going to glue the whole thing under like that and then this will be centered on the inside of the card and there's all our our votes well somebody will get a card that has flowers leaves suede and navy no one will they'll if if they're able to tear this card apart they'll wonder like why is this writing on the back <laughs> secret message in this inside of this card in the layers okay there we go and now the last part is to take, um, Karen used like a stitched circle. i hold this shut for a moment with my, um, and so I grabbed my, 
stylish, style, I think that's what they're called, stylish shapes from the annual catalog. And there's circles and squares and these banner pieces. And I cut a whole bunch of circles, but I've realized after I saved a whole bunch of circles in here too. Oftentimes I'll cut different sizes of circles thinking I'm going to use them for a project and then I don't end up using them. So I, um, I take and I stash them in here so that I have circles on hand for another time. And so, yeah, like I've got circles of all sizes in here, just saved up from whatever. And, um, so there's like, there's the biggest. And then the next size down, I cut a few of those and then maybe the next size. And I think the biggest one is probably bigger than I want. But if I had a really big sentiment, I could use that one. Um, but I think this one might be a little bit better sized for the sentiments that I pulled out today. And then hmm, this one, I mean, it works too, but it does seem a little bit small. So I think I'll go with the second largest circle from the stylish, make sure I got that right name. Yeah, the stylish shapes dies. And then since we went with the navy card base, I'll grab the navy stamping pad. And let's see, I've got a couple of options of words that I thought, well, there's birds and there's blue. Um, I think, I think like this deepest sympathy would fit on there. These are the moments we will look back on with joy would fit there. Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. That fits nicely too. And then I pulled out, hmm, this stamp set. In the moment, you're always so good to yourself. Be good to others too. And then one of my new sets uh, from the mini catalog is this Hello Harvest. And the Hello would fit there as well. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, I think I might just go with wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. It could be a happiness for a wedding, a happiness for a birthday. There's lots of different kinds of special days. And let's see here. Okay, nice thing about a circle is that you don't have to worry about like stamping perfectly perfectly horizontal because if you're slightly off the horizontal line you just rotate the circle until it's straight circles are wonderful that way okay wishing you all the happiness this special day will bring and okay now um with some of Karen's cards, she had like extra stamping and decoration on her circle. I'm just, oops, I think I got a little bit of smudging there. I'm just going to stop there. Uh, what did I get on there? By, hmm, it's almost like the blue kind of, well, we're going to take another one and try it again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's almost like it flecked around, but I don't know, maybe there's something that needs to be cleaned off on here. I don't know if you, if you've heard this before or not, but if you take like packing tape and put it in a circle so that the sticky part is on the outside, a, a curl of tape and you can tap around with the packing tape and that will pick off any of the, any like little bits of junk and dust and speckles and glitter that may get on your ink pad the packing tape will lift it off so that's handy to know oh that's better wishing you so yeah karen just um she just a lot of hers just had words there but a few of them had um stamping around them and then i think she also added some embellishments and that's what I'm going to do next after I get my dimensionals on here. I like to use at least three to get a sturdy base. And I'll try and put this on somewhat sort of straight. Let's see, about like that. 
There we go. Oh, I like, <laughs> I like keeping that shut for while I'm trying to work on it and look to see how it's all coming together. Okay, so I grabbed some embellishments here and I have these ones that are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots and the whatever this metallic -y color is it kind of makes it reminds me of soft suede so I think I'm going to use this one so that we've brought out the the navy in the paper and then the suede part could be brought out in the metallic dots and let's see how do I get into this package there it is it's on the front okay So I'll just put a scattering of these metallic dots. I wonder if I can use this one that's on the packaging here. I think it's got, still got some adhesive on it. Okay, so as you can see, super duper simple card and great way to show off the two sides of the designer paper just pretty much uh, can't go wrong never fail card um, and yeah it's just opens like this and then there's the designer series paper seeing both sides and a little bit on the inside where you can um, write a message and now um, I was thinking I'm not gonna do another full card because you've seen how the pattern goes uh, you start with the uh, just to review, a standard base and five and a half inches by, no, five and a quarter by four inches of designer paper. And then the same size, five and a quarter by four inches in white. You cut off an inch here, you cut off an inch here, and you do the layers. Um, but uh, what I was going to show you really quickly, I was thinking like, had you picked this, well, I could still do some words in there too, but um, you could also uh, go back to this paper, to the one that has the little houses on it. And um, well, maybe the houses, I don't know. I've picked a lot of houses, I've picked houses with blue. Maybe it would be better to go with the flowers for the houses. Where did I set the other piece with the flowers on it? There it is. That might look nicer with the flowers because that designer paper has some blue in it. So I had cut out a house. I think that would look cute. Um, or there's a smaller house. If you use a smaller house, you'd have some words that you could put here. Or last week I was playing around with the gnomes and I was saying how these little mushrooms um, worked really well with the gnomes. So you could get out the what is it? The Gnomes of Kindness? Uh, kindness? No, no. Storybook Gnomes. That's the name of it. And you could pull in, you could pull in a little gnome to go with the, the mushrooms and the leaves and see he's got like soft suede shoes there. And well, it's not quite the same greenish color, but um, yeah. So um, I'm going to play around and make up a few more cards with this pattern because I just thought it was brilliant. And and it, it's fun to try all the different patterns and um, and see how they look. Uh, so yeah, make it works really well to make a stack of cards. And I hope you get a chance to try out this design, give it a go. And if you do make a make a card, send me a picture. I always like to see what paper you decide to use and how you decide to. Um, you know what wording and or decoration you use in the end to make your card i'd love to see what you come up with and so i hope that inspired you to get a little crafty this week um, i'm just taking one last look here at the comments so oh glenda says good choice i like that oh karen just caught the live i love yeah oh it's it's so easy and so fun and i think I'm going to be making a whack of these for thank you cards for the next while because it's a really handy, handy design to um, be able to, you know, make up a bunch just in a flash. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me and checking out my Never Fail Designer Series paper card. Again, I want to give credit to Karen Titan. It was her 
blog post that I saw that gave me the, um, the di well, pr pretty much the dimensions and everything to put the card together like this. And, um, and it works super well with this new celebration paper. So thanks again, everyone. I hope the rest of your week goes really well. And we'll talk to you again another time. Bye for now.